Hello folks. So if you saw my previous videos, you know I'm putting together a wide field setup in my basement and I haven't used it yet because I've been changing my mind on a lot of the parts I, I want to use. I've, I'm changing the camera I want to use with it. I'm going to use a reducer instead of a flattener to uh, um, get a wider field of view. Um, I've decided on a different set of filters to use. And uh, I want to show you everything I'm going to be doing here. So let me start off with the reducer. All right, so let me open this box up here. And one thing I always do with the reducer, um, whether it's an Orion flattener or reducer or Hotec, I always take off the extension tube because um, the extension tube actually gives me too much focus. I mean, it gives me, it, it sends me back too far and I can't focus because my whole, my whole imaging train is threaded. So I need to take off the, uh, the hollow tube that, that comes with it. All right. So, see this is the part that would thread onto my draw tube, but this is too much. See that? Don't need that. This is still threaded here and I can thread that onto my draw tube. With this, um, I'm definitely back too far. I, I've had that experience before. So anyway, so that's, that's the reducer. Okay, so next, um, I bought a new ASI 1600 Pro camera. I bought this from OPT. Um, I usually get my big purchases from there. Um, it wasn't on sale, but oh well. Now once in a while, I don't know if it's maybe once a year, ZWO might offer a sale on their products, but it figures at the time I wanted one, it wasn't on sale. But uh, I have nothing against color cameras. I see people taking awesome images with color, especially with those narrowband filters, the Triad or the Ellen Hance filter. Um, but the, the color camera I had was um, very undersampled for the setup I wanted to use, especially when I add a reducer onto it. So I actually ended up selling the QHY10 camera. But um, although I did like the pictures, I, I did um, get with it in the short time I used it. But what I'm curious with this camera is um, I need uh, 55 millimeters of space between this reducer and the camera sensor to get the best edge to edge picture. Um, otherwise the stars may be warped or so around the, around the edges. And what I, uh, um, I talked to High Point Scientific and they calculated that um, uh, the, the depth of the sensor in the camera plus a filter wheel uses up um, enough space so that all I need to uh, account for is 16 and a half millimeters to get me to that 55 um, mm of space. And so I ordered a 16 and a half millimeter um, spacer. And when I told uh, my friend Jason about it, he goes, you know, that 55 mm of space is so standard that ZWO actually includes that in the box now. So I hurried up and canceled my order and I want to see if that, uh, I checked the specs online and it should be in here. I want to put that all together and see how it works. So uh, let, let's see if it's in here. Oh, look at that, a nice little case. I didn't see this with my original ASI 1600 camera, but that was so long ago. Oh, very nice, very nice. Um, and like I had seen in the pictures, they use screws now on the front, so if I ever want to clean the sensor, I'd have to unscrew it instead of twisting it. But I, I hope it never gets to that point. The last thing I ever want to do is clean the sensor. Now, um, it comes with uh, 
a nose piece. I'll never use that. Um, the USB cable. This looks like 16 and a half millimeters of space. That's what I needed. Oh, and it comes with a 25 millimeter or 21 millimeter spacer. Another USB cable. Another USB cable. Nice. Oh, a ring adapter. A little adapter here. And another adapter. All right. So I want to see how this all fits together. So let me take off the cap. Let me take off. This is another adapter. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I already have a filter wheel here. I'm going to screw this on. So between the depth of the sensor somewhere around there and the filter wheel, all I need now is that 16 and a half millimeter spacer. And this, this is the 16 and a half, that would go here. And let's see how it fits onto my reducer here. Now it's it's too big, and I knew that was going to be the case. So one of these adapters should be able to fix that. I think it might be this one. I think this is an M48 to M42 adapter. One of these is supposed to do the trick for me. Let me see here. Screw that on like so. I don't want to make it too tight, but there it is. My reducer, spacer, filter, filter wheel, and camera. That is the exact spacing I need to get me a good edge-to-edge -edge picture. So thank you to ZWO, you know, thinking ahead and they knew exactly the amount of spacing I would need. All right. Okay, next here I have filters from Optolong. They invited me to try their narrowband filter set, the HA oxygen, sulfur, and their broadband filter set. Um, they invited me to try these actually last year, but I didn't have a second rig last year, and I don't like to swap equipment in and out of my main rig, and I told them, look, if I ever build um, a second setup, uh, I'd be glad to try them out. And I'm not married to any one company, so I don't care. If somebody wants me to try out their new stuff, um, I'll try it as long is I have um, uh, a spot to try them on with the new setup. Now is the time to do it because once I have this in place, that's it. No more new equipment. Um, it, it becomes permanent, and I, I don't like to change. So um, if these work out, um, and I hope they do, it'll be permanent, and uh, we'll see how that goes. And Optalon told me, um, be as objective as you want. If they don't work out, oh, well, that's okay, but just try them out and see, see if you like them. Huh? Okay. Okay, so when I bought my camera, a lot of people are surprised to see that a power adapter actually doesn't come with it. No PT asked me, they reminded me of that and they asked me if I wanted to buy one and I already had one. In fact, I have a bunch of these and I can't remember for the life of me where they all came from, but jeez, okay, that's one thing I didn't need. So it's a little cigarette lighter thing here. And so this would actually just plug into the back. It fits like so, and oops, ooh, I don't want to drop my camera. And what I did buy is uh, because I use AC power, I buy these uh, little cigarette lighter adapters. Where um, this, I got a bunch of these, 
this is what I always do. I plug the cigarette lighter into that end, and um, this end will plug into AC power. And I've been using these for these kind of things for a long time. I don't know about this particular brand. I've got a bunch of other ones that are a couple years old, but um, they work. Um, I've never had a problem with my camera or, or anything else I've used these for. So, um, and that's how I'm going to power it up. And I bought a cloak that I will use to um, cover my whole setup with when I'm not using it. And that's that's all my new stuff. Lots of fun. I have no excuses. I need to create my bias and my darks now and uh, get this thing outside. No more excuses. Let's do this. Okay, I'm going to create my bias and dark frames now. And what I noticed, though, is um, a lot of people don't even create bias anymore. They use flat darks. But I've been looking on Astrobin, and it seems like it's usually one or the other. I'm going to stick with what I know. And I, I'm going to create bias. And um, you know what? It, it's worked for me in the past. And um, I, I see my friends still using bias with this camera. So I'm going to do it. And what I'm going to do is select the camera, my new ASI Pro camera. And I want to show you, if I select ASI camera and connect, I don't have as much flexibility um, with this. Uh, when I click on the event settings here, I can't adjust the, the, the offset per Per row here, so I'm gonna I'm not gonna use the ASI. That's the ASCOM driver. I'm gonna use the native ZWO driver. And now I'm gonna connect with that. And now I should be able to update the offset. So, uh, so I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna set this for Unity gain one three nine two one is the offset. I'm gonna create my um, let's see, run, I'm going to choose bias, it's already there. Um, I'm going to choose filter, leave that as none. I'll leave that at uh, zero seconds as the, uh, yeah, I'll leave that as zero. And the exposure time, um, I'm going to, uh, now bias have to be as short as possible, so I'm just going to leave the exposure at zero. I'll create 200 of these, I see lots of people going big on bias, so I'll create 200. And now I'm going to create my darks. Let me set up the Unity Gain again. And I only capture in one exposure time when I'm using Unity Gain. And uh, I'll set that. Um, I already have it set to dark. Filter none. And I'm going to put this at my suffix. I'll leave that at four min. There. Um, exposure time. Um, I only, like I said, I only go four minutes. So, I mean, I, yeah, it's just because I only use Unity Gain with narrow band filters, and all my narrow band imaging is done at, at um, 4 minutes, 240 seconds. So I'll set that for 240S, and I'll do 50 of those. So that's all I have to do to create my, my bias and darks library for Unity Gain. At, at, yeah, for Unity Gain. And um, I'll come back, and I'll do it again for... Uh, um, Gain 75, that's the only other gain I actually use. And I use that when I'm doing um, broadband and oxygen. And for gain 75, I, I only capture in 30-second exposures for broadband and 4-minute exposures for oxygen. And um, that should do it. And uh, it's raining outside. I can't take my setup out there today. But uh, the first good day we have, I'm going to get it out there. So thanks for watching. I'm going to kick this off. Right, let's see if it runs. I hope there's no errors. Oops. I want to make sure my temperature is set. Where is my temperature? What? Is that it right there? Set to. I didn't set up the equipment profile for this yet. Hmm. Minus 20. Five minutes. Is it cooling down yet? What if I could click run? Let's see what happens here. I don't think our temperature matters for for bias, but I know it, it matters for darks. Why isn't my camera cooling down? Hang on, I'm gonna abort this. Maybe I've I've got something wrong here. 
Hey, I am back. Um, my power adapter wasn't plugged in, so that's why it wasn't cooling down. But it looks like it's going now. So let me just reset this. And let me go to, um, let me delete the first ones I already deleted there. I was going to start over again. All right. Um, it's already at minus 11. Okay. I'm just going to click kick this off now. And that is it. I will see you guys later. Hello folks. Testing one, two, three, four. Hello folks, one, two, three, four, mother of If I can never freaking get this wrapper off. Okay. Okay, next I have new filters here, and thank you to Optolong. They, they provided me... Okay, next here... <coughs> Okay. Okay, next year I have filters from Optolog. I'm more comfortable with mono. It's, I'm used to it by now, so I think I'm going to stick with it. And um, 